Good morning from Golden Sands, Bulgaria. Today is our last full day in the country of Bulgaria before we head to a new destination. So we thought, right, we've got to get away from the beaches, sort of, um, and we're heading to the third largest city in the country of Bulgaria, and that is Varna. Ideally, it is only 20 minutes on the bus from Golden Sands. Golden Sands pretty much is sort of like a distant part of Varna, but we want to head to the city centre today check it out, check out a few things. We also need to buy a few things before we head to our new destination, which you'll find out very soon. And I need to get a haircut. Um, we're now just walking up these pretty steep stairs, trying to find where we get the bus. We actually just found out that Golden Sands is a national park and is protected. So it explains why, oh, I'm out of breath, which is why we're uphill full of nature loads of trees but yesterday we spent the whole day basically Chilling. relaxing at the beach so we do really need to get a bit of city before we have the before next we head to country. the capital city of a new country oh yeah and whew, we made it to Varna on I don't know what bus that was do you know what bus that was no it was good though it was a good bus um the bus that we're meant to get I don't think it come, and we got on like a little minivan that, I don't know, it was a similar price, it was about three lev each, so I'm more than happy, but we have made it to Varna. This city dates back to the 5th century BC and is the largest of all the cities on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast. We don't have too long to explore here, so we'll probably only see a couple of things this afternoon, being that it is such a big city. from where we got dropped off from the crazy bus minivan is one of the most famous things here in Varna which is the door mission of the Mother of God Church. Don't know much more is about it. Is it also known as Varna Cathedral? Yeah, basically it's the centerpiece of Varna. Um, it's situated right in the square. The first stone was placed back in the 1800s. However, it would look much better and does look much better at night. Everyone tells you you should see it at night because it lights up, but I think it's got so much construction at the minute that it probably wouldn't look yeah, as good. I presume maybe they're doing the, I don't know, they're doing something up. They're doing something up, but it's I, old, it always needs a, it look, needs a, it's rose gold this time, it's really not nice. gold, it's really, really pretty. <laughs> Considering we haven't done too much research, normally we're really prepared straight after the cathedral, cross the road and you're on the main pedestrian street, which actually doesn't seem to have too much. It's pretty empty, got some really cool colorful buildings. Um, but I think that's because being that we are on the coast, all the bars, restaurants are on the beachfront. So this is more just like shops, but I haven't really seen many shops that are like shops. Normal shops. Normal like shops. Zara, H &M. Yeah, because we're on the hunt. We need to, we need to get some stuff before heading the new destination but you almost said it then didn't you nearly said it very nearly said it this is a complete contrast a massive park right by the main pedestrian street is, is it a sea garden yeah sea garden everything is really well signposted and within like a two minute walk like we've literally walked from the bus station i wasn't impressed with the pedestrian street i can't lie yeah well i think I we're think being a bit snobby be on the beach maybe i don't know either everything's on the beach or they have like a massive shopping mall that has everything in it but um this is we the have garden. a massive garden within the city i think that's pretty cool so we obviously don't have all day to walk through the sea garden but apparently i'm not sure it doesn't look that big it probably is big um, but we're taking a shortcut is the biggest or one of the biggest parks in all of the Balkans but being the sea garden uh, I can see the sea I can see the sea it leads straight down to the sea which I presume is where all the bars and restaurants are because I literally haven't seen any bars or restaurants so far in Varna we were not wrong literally at the very end oh god it's windy today at the very end of the sea garden is the bars the restaurants it's like a mini strip like you have a few bars in a row, you've got your little fast food vendors. How cool is this place? So we have come into Sea Crets, I believe, and it's like a beach bar and restaurant. There's actually quite a few. It's got a really nice design outside. It feels like you're in the city with the design of the outside, but then you come in and you've got these beach bars, restaurants. You really wouldn't think that you're in a city. It's lovely. You've got a bean bag sat there. They've got an upstairs terrace. It's I like this the whole way along. They're all great choices, but not all of them done food. And we've got our own little like cabana 
on the seafront. This is lovely. Cheers, a little Cheers. bit. Look at big beer, be little beer. Oh yeah, I fancy the smaller one today, but this place hooked us in from the outside because uh -huh. of the name. It's called Secrets. Did you get the pun? So I don't know what secrets it holds by the sea. Why are you trying to tell their joke for them? Yeah, I know, I'm proper selling <laughs> the joke. But it is so, so nice. Like from the outside, as Matt said, it looks like a normal building. You don't see this, it's do like you? It's like a city, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I... inside the sea garden, you see these buildings. Exactly. You and you don't know what it is. You can see why the main pedestrian street isn't full of bars and restaurants. You're, you're not going to, why are you going to want to sit there when you can sit on the beach? This is just lovely. The best way to end our time in Bulgaria. Who would have thought this is a city, but it is lovely, like I say, it's just full of bars, restaurants, little beach clubs, the whole way along. This one looks lovely next door to us with a huge terrace, and then you can come down into the sea. Oh, I'm not going in, there is no way I'm going in here. Last day, oh my God, it's so busy this way, look. It's so busy. Oh, that is cold, that is really, really cold, but, um, mm, really nice, I'll definitely come here from Golden Sands for a day. You've got a different range of bars, restaurants, and obviously here in Varna, a lot of these bars and restaurants obviously are really busy at the moment because it doesn't rely on tourists. All of these are locals and they are packed. We couldn't come into this place without getting food. I have got the spinach and cheese tortellini. It looks nice it and the cheese really sauce. Good, right? I've got a pesto pasta with tomatoes and parmesan. You know, we didn't want to get pizza again, but the menu here is absolutely amazing. So there was loads that we could have got, but I really decided on carbs. carbs. Big carbs. Carbs, carbs. Oh, no, Trapped on the beach. <laughs> What's this guy doing in the <laughs> back of it? That's scenic, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm trying to eat my pasta. Mmm. Got enough in your mouth? Oh no, is it all over my phone? No, you're good, you're good. How is it? Really, really nice. It's like a proper, like an Italian style pizza. With pizza? Like, I feel healthy now. I can't even speak. Pasta. That was lovely. That totally. Oh my god, oh what's the sand? It's the best exit to a restaurant ever, right? Just walk along the sea. Probably the last bit of sea we're going to have for a very long time. And I'm really surprised actually that considering we're in the big city, the prices were so cheap. That whole meal. Oh my god, yeah, and like two beers. 10 euros? Yeah, so 23 left. Unreal value. Um, and definitely at the moment, as of May, nearly June, Varna, if you want to, like, I suppose, night out, or not night out, but like a busier atmosphere, atmosphere it yeah. is packed and there's restaurants, beach clubs. But by the all time the way that you see this video, I'm sure the other cities will have been. Well, the, the seaside towns, yeah, Golden Sands by then will be absolutely packed, but. We gotta quickly go do some shopping for our next destination. So much shopping to get. Uh-huh, and when you next see me, this hair is gonna look lovely. The haircut has been done. We are back at Palm Beach Resort Golden Sands after an amazing day in Varna. It's actually a really nice city, I can't lie. Like. I wasn't that impressed with the pedestrian street, but the pedestrian street is for winter, I've been told. So during the winter, people obviously don't sit on the beach. So the restaurants, bars open up there, but in the summer, you can sit on the beach, obviously. Lovely restaurant, and it just proves we had all that for less than what we paid for a subway the other day, which shows why these chains don't do so well in the Balkans when you can go out for a fancy meal and have it for cheaper. But we are back, we're gonna head out for dinner in a bit. I have no clue where we're going. We might eat in the hotel, we might eat out. We're meant to play bowling. I have no idea what's going on. We decided to come and check out the buffet at our restaurant at Palm Beach here. It's absolutely great choices. And I love the fact that with all Bulgarian type of food, it's not traditional. Sorry, I'm making a table job. But they always have your shops for salad, always got some potatoes, grilled veg, and some sort of rice or pasta dish, which is what I've got. There's also loads of meat options up there and fish. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier. Me and Matt have been eating absolutely awfully. Um, so I'm trying to eat a lot healthier. Let me just try some of this. Mm. Oh yeah. You can't go wrong. And it's so warm. 
I love that. But um, we're going to eat this. Then we're going to go and play bowling because it is one of our favourite things ever to do. And I'm going to beat Matt. That buffet was really good. Such a surprise. Mm -hmm. We didn't the expect desserts. to go. Oh my oh, God. Yeah, well, yeah we, we weren't even going, were we? To do that. No, we were just going to go and have a wander along the beach, but it worked out better. Perfectly. I'm stuffed now. I Two beers in hand. That it's going to be our, this is actually going to be our last Hot beer. Maybe. Maybe our last beer. Molly likes me to drink a lot before we go out bowling, so she has an opportunity <laughs> Does she though? to do well. I think you do. But anyway, we're not going to bore you with the bowling again. Again, it's been an amazing stay here at Palm Beach. Would highly recommend it, um, especially with the bowling. The bowling is so much oh, fun. So especially much if fun. you have a Molly and you can beat them. Uh, or if you have a Matt and he's crap. <laughs> but it's our last full day in Bulgaria. But our time in Bulgaria has been amazing. It's not just the beaches, it is the cities. Velike Tarnovo, Belogradchik. It has Lovdiv, been. Lovdiv, the favourite. Uh -huh, of everyone. It. I'm not sure, it, possibly it has been amazing. If you have enjoyed this series, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. We have so much more to come mm -hmm. in and And the like, country. we don't normally say that. Is I find it really there? cringy when people say it, but do subscribe, do like, and we'll see you in the next destination in the next one. Bye.